Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Basics. For more videos please subscribe, Civil Engineering Basics. The foundation in a building is provided to distribute the load over a large area. Increase overall stability of the structure. Transmit load to the bearing surface, subsoil, at a uniform rate. The foundation in a building is provided to distribute the load over a large area. Increase overall stability of the structure. Transmit load to the bearing surface, subsoil, at a uniform rate. The bearing capacity of soils can be improved by increasing the depth of footing. Draining the subsoil water. Ramming the granular material like crushed stone in the soil. All of the above. The bearing capacity of soils can be improved by increasing the depth of footing. Draining the subsoil water. Ramming the granular material like crushed stone in the soil. All of the above. Which of the following is used for weaker soil? Column footing. Grillage footing. Raft footing. All of these. Which of the following is used for weaker soil? Column footing. Grillage footing. Raft footing. All of these. For a rectangular foundation width B, the eccentricity of the load should not be greater than B slash 6. For a rectangular foundation width B, the eccentricity of the load should not be greater than B slash 6. The minimum load which will cause failure of a foundation is called ultimate bearing power of the soil. The minimum load which will cause failure of a foundation is called ultimate bearing power of the soil. When the walls are subjected to heavy loading and the bearing capacity of the soil is very low, then the wall is constructed on reinforced concrete footing. When the walls are subjected to heavy loading and the bearing capacity of the soil is very low, then the wall is constructed on reinforced concrete footing. The maximum bearing capacity of soil is that of hard rock. The maximum bearing capacity of soil is that of hard rock. The maximum bearing capacity of soil is that of hard rock. When a heavy structure is to be constructed in sandy soil, the foundation used is pier foundation. When a heavy structure is to be constructed in sandy soil, the foundation used is pier foundation. In made-up ground having a low value of its bearing power, heavy concentrated structural loads are generally supported by providing raft footing. In made-up ground having a low value of its bearing power, heavy concentrated structural loads are generally supported by providing raft footing.
A combined footing is commonly used when two columns are spaced close to each other. A combined footing is commonly used when two columns are spaced close to each other. When two or more footings are connected by beam, it is called strap footing. When two or more footings are connected by beam, it is called strap footing. When two or more footings are connected by beam, it is called strap footing. The type of foundation most suitable for bridges is pile foundation. The type of foundation most suitable for bridges is pile foundation. The type of foundation most suitable for bridges is pile foundation. The pile which supports the load partly by friction and partly by resting on hard stratus, is called friction bearing pile. The pile which supports the load partly by friction and partly by resting on hard stratus, is called friction bearing pile. Stability of existing structure may be disturbed by rising of water table. Vibrations caused by traffic movements. Mining in the neighborhood. Stability of existing structure may be disturbed by rising of water table. Vibrations caused by traffic movements. Mining in the neighborhood. The pre-stressed concrete piles as compared to pre-cast and reinforced concrete piles are lesser in weight. Have high load carrying capacity. Are extremely durable. The pre-stressed concrete piles as compared to pre-cast and reinforced concrete piles are lesser in weight. Have high load carrying capacity. Are extremely durable. The bearing capacity of a waterlogged soil may be improved by drainage. The bearing capacity of a waterlogged soil may be improved by drainage. The bearing capacity of a waterlogged soil may be improved by drainage. Pile foundation is generally used when the soils is compressible, waterlogged, made up type. Pile foundation is generally used when the soils is compressible, waterlogged, made up type. Safe bearing capacity of black cotton soil varies from 5 to 7.5 ton per meter square. Safe bearing capacity of black cotton soil varies from 5 to 7.5 ton per meter square. Safe bearing capacity of black cotton soil varies from 5 to 7.5 ton per meter square. In soils possessing low bearing capacity, the type of foundation generally provided, is grillage footing, raft footing, mat footing.
In soils possessing low bearing capacity, the type of foundation generally provided is grillage footing, raft footing, mat footing. The bearing capacity of a waterlogged soil may be improved by drainage. The bearing capacity of a waterlogged soil may be improved by drainage. Thank you so much for viewing this video. For more video on civil engineering subscribe my channel. Civil Engineering Basics